joining us. I'm Cheryl Johnson with Spectrum Health. Today we are at the Center for Acute Rehabilitation at Spectrum Health Blodgett Hospital in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And we're here to talk about how technology helps patients recover from stroke, surgery, or serious injury. So today, at this time, we're gonna talk about the, um, rob the Armeo Spring Robotic Arm, which helps people get regain use of their arm. Uh, I have Jessica Flood, who's an occupational therapist, who's going to tell us more about that. But before we get to that piece of technology, if you could tell us a little bit about the Center for Acute Rehabilitation, that would be great. Yeah, here at the Center for Acute Rehabilitation, um, we're on the fourth floor at Blodgett Hospital. Um, we have a 30-bed unit where we specialize in inpatient acute rehab. So it's an intense therapy. Patients get up to three hours, or at least three hours of therapy each day, um, so that. They really get a high intensity um, for rehab to get them home and back into the community um, safely at a higher level of independence. Um, while they're here, they um, have a physician that rounds with them regular, regularly to manage all their acute medical needs. Um, and then, like I said, we have a comprehensive team of nurses and therapists um, that help to get patients to their ideal goal, to go home. Okay, so the Armeo Spring Robotic Arm, mm -hmm. what type of patient do you use that for? So with this piece of equipment, it's um, a really great way to help those patients that have weakness in one of their upper extremities. So if someone has hemiparesis or weakness after a stroke, um, we can put them in this machine to help facilitate the movement that they want. Um, there, it is also used with patients that have a spinal cord injury um, or you know, even any nerve damage that would cause that weakness in that in an upper extremity. How new is this technology? Um, it is fairly new. Um, it has been out long enough to have good research for validity um, of its use for outcomes, um, but it is one of the pieces of technology that is still uh, up and coming, so they're improving it regularly, but it has been around for a little while, but it is a newer piece of equipment. So if you can introduce your pretend patient and <laughs> show us how it works, Absolutely. that would be great. So this is Kim, our model for today. Um, so the spring, the arm, is attached at up here at the bicep cuff and then at the wrist. So all of these joints are, um, they can be changed based on a patient, the length of their arm or how much assistance they need. So we wanna line it up with their joints. Um, these pieces actually can walk so that we can isolate a specific muscle group if we want to. So if we want to adjust to the use of their shoulder, um, we can lock out their shoulder so we just do flexion and extension and we can't have them bring it into abduction. So we can lock all the joints, but for the demonstration today, we're gonna let her use her entire arm. Another key piece of this is that we can adjust the assistance that the machine is giving her. So right now, the machine is actually holding her arm up to a certain degree, and it actually tells us on the side here how strong the resistance is. Right now it's on G. And just by turning this, we can increase the amount of assistance that the machine gives her or decrease it. So there we decreased it, and you saw that Kim's arm went down slightly because we had the machine helping her. And we can also adjust that assistance in the forearm piece as well up here. Okay, so show us how she uses this with the monitor. So the great piece, the great thing about the Armeo spring is that not only does she get the movement and high repetitions in her arm with these activities, but it also gives a visual feedback. So she's playing a game essentially um, that we can target different um, areas, whether it's a functional task or areas of interest for her, um, we can target that and she gets that visual feedback. So she is um, reprogramming those pathways in her brains for in her brain for multi systems. So visual as well as motor. And I see that you have several choices of games. Do they vary in difficulty? Yes, we can adjust her entire plan. So we can add um, as many programs as we want to her plan, and we also can increase the difficulty as she progresses and as she's able to move that arm better. So we'll start with a cleanup one now. Um, this involves the use of her grip. We can also make them, so it, it would be an auto grip. So if someone couldn't squeeze their hand initially, then we can set that so it automatically grabs those. But for her, we wanna really practice that grip. So 
she has to sustain that grip the entire time she's moving these objects to the bookshelf. So and if it, she drops something, she's not gripping well enough. Yep, so if, if her hand, if and we adjust the strength of her grip. So if she's not holding strong enough, then the pencil will fall to the floor, just like that. So this is really a fun way to reteach their muscles, right? Yeah, it is. They get to, we have people that, you know, ask if they're gonna get to use it again. Do I get to go back on that tomorrow? <laughs> Um, because it really is an interactive way for them to really work on that arm. So, so before the Armeo Spring robotic arm, wh what did you use in therapy to help people regain use? Essentially, the part that would assist the arm would be us as therapists. So we would actually physically bring patients through these motions, whether it be reaching for their cup or you know, um, just bringing them up into flexion to reach up a over their head. So we would be... A allow or providing that assistance, that physical assistance, where here the machine actually provides that assistance, but we can also tell specifically how much assistance is being provided. Or when the therapist was providing that assistance, it was more subjective. Okay, so, so what kind of results are you seeing? We have seen really great results with this machine. Um, I have a couple of patients that come to mind recently, I would say within the past year and a half, um, where they came in and they started making progress so they could move their arm a little bit. And then as they progressed with this machine, they were really maximizing their independence. And one person, her goal, she actually straightened her hair with her affected arm um, as, before she left. So on her wow. last day, she wanted pictures taken. So she straightened her hair and then on the way out, she walked out with a cane, so. That is great. So how is she doing on this? I notice it says 14 um, and now 15. <laughs> so it'll show you at the end, this is another great piece of this, is that it shows an objective measurement. So okay. it shows the score and this is her second trial through. So she got an 18 this time instead of her 20. So if we come back to this tomorrow, it saves the information and we can capture that data day after day so we can show her look, you, you know, yesterday you were only able to get 18, today you're getting 24, we're gonna make it more difficult for you. And then, so we can show her that data. So she so has she a sense. So she can see mm -hmm. measurable improvement. Yep, measurable. Where you couldn't see things. that when it was the, when, when it was therapy assisted. Right, okay. it was, you know, it was more, we did the repetitions, but here she just gets a high repetition, you know, a longer period of time, and she sees the actual results. So, and they can be quite fun, so. We have one here that's more entertaining. <coughs> Pirates. So people really do enjoy these and get involved. And you, you'll have to tell us how this game is different in mm -hmm. terms of therapeutic benefit from the other one. Yep, so this one requires more speed. So as you can see, she has to line that target up. And oh, then- this is fun. <laughs> <laughs> So this one also works on visual scanning. So she has to scan the whole screen in order to you know, make sure she's getting all the targets, um, as well as that more precision control of that arm because she has to sustain this target over the object she's trying to eliminate. So she has to, um, it requires more strength and um, coordination to sustain that position for a longer period. A lot of times when we see weakness in the arm, as soon as someone goes to squeeze, a lot of times their arm comes in, so then they wouldn't be able to get the target. So it really makes them hold their arm out in that position as they squeeze to hit the target. Okay. So what are the top three diagnoses that you use this technology for? Stroke is our number one. Um, and then, like I said, it could be used with a spinal cord injury patient. Um, I don't know if we necessarily used it with that population here recently. Um, and then just, any type of nerve damage, if there was a brachial plexus injury, we could use that, but our primary diagnosis here is um, our stroke patients with a hemophilia. So. Okay. And how is she doing? She is doing very well. Um, and we'll see, she did this already earlier, so we'll see her comparison. Um, so what we look at is just her speed, her accuracy, like I said before, um, her, being able to maintain that position um, for a long sustained period of time. So can you tell us what muscles you're feeling um, work? Yeah, um, when I go to aim for each skeleton, I have to use my shoulder and my elbow to correctly position my arm. And when I shoot, I squeeze with my hand. 
Now, is she supposed to shoot the birds, too? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, it's her pirate birds. So here you can see she scored a 37. Last time was a 31. So there's yay, yay, progress. There's improvement. Well, oh, thank 45. you so me, much. Thank you so much, Jessica, yes. for sharing this technology with us. Um, we're really excited about what you're able to do here. And uh, our next story is going to be at 1015. We're going to take you on a tour through our activities of Daily Living Suite, which is an apartment for people to prepare for home. So thanks again for joining us.